on. Sweet. Well, and welcome to the end. This is the last monthly here at the SAK Gaming Lounge. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off right with doubles. This is uh, Olami even Toast and Butter versus Fireball Whiskey. Uh, let's see what we got here. It's been a while since I've been on commentary. It was over the summer, most of it. This is Ratatouille on the mic. We jump right into it. Blue versus Green on Smashville. So Kirby's an interesting doubles choice for sure. Uh, mainly due to the fact that a lot of the value that Kirby gets is off of solo combos and gimps. However, showing right now that Kirby can do that in doubles anyway if you could get over some distracted. Lucario gets in some uh, shield pressure with the charge on his neutral B. Not bad at all. Hitting his own teammate, though, never a good plan. So uh, this is a really interesting combination of characters. I don't expect to see a ton of comboing between the two characters on both teams here. Sonic and Kirby, a really interesting combination. Lucario and Ness, a really interesting combination. But there's a lot of kill power across the board in one-on-ones. So expect to see a lot of basically pairs of these two fighting. Uh, Lucario getting a nice little up smash, not going to kill. Going for the neutral be perfect tech from the, from, uh, the nest there. Very nice. Hard up, up air from Ness there. Take the Sonic off the top. Uh, pretty much an even game across the board until this Lucario dies, but with all that rage and aura building, that Lucario is definitely not useless at 112%. Uh, grab into a short little combo there at super high percent on Kirby. Kirby, however, definitely kill percent to that Lucario and possibly to the nest depending on the move. Uh, however, Lucario getting F smashed right from the center stage and he's gone. Great, uh, great holding shield from this Lucario here. I'm not sure if Lucario is Fireball or Fireball or Whiskey or neither. So Kirby with Lucario's uh, Aura Ball is actually pretty nice. Uh, got a faster charge, uh, pretty good stage pressure, especially in doubles given that they have almost no projectiles unless you count Kirby's up B as a projectile for the blue team here. Give them a little bit better space control and that while charging the Aura Ball, it does have the effect that Lucario's has as it does damage. Ah, there we go, down air into down smash. Nice little kill confirmed from Kirby. Uh, almost a combo, Ness just comes in with an it's up air, up smash, and interrupts that completely. And we're down to a one-stock game across the board. Once again, Lucario at the highest percent, but that's never really terrible, given Lucario. Going for the double up air on the Kirby up there. Uh, if they can get rid of this Kirby, they should have a pretty easy time dealing with uh, a Sonic with a, such a high rage. Uh, one interesting that we almost saw there is the fact that uh, Lucario can heal Ness uh, with Ness is down B, charging absorbing projectiles, if there's just two of them left alone. Getting some shield pressure on Sonic. Not quite enough. Justin better just getting out of there. Neutral guard definitely not going to kill. Uh, goes for the up throw, kind of preserve that back throw. Oh no! Looks like Fireball Whiskey was intending to heal the Ness, but uh, Ness was not ready with the down B to actually absorb the aura ball. And now we're just into projectile zoning here. Uh, they can basically just heal each other if they wish. And that might, nope, not quite across the stage. Healing Ness as much as needed here. And that should do it, yep. So Fireball Whiskey takes game one over Elamavi as host and Butter. Uh, really interesting team comp, I like it though. Uh, Ness Lucario. Definitely uh, stick to the characters you're good at. And uh, in this case, if they work well together, they work well together. This is a best out of three, by the way. We won't be enacting best of five until uh, top eight, I believe. Yeah, top eight. Uh, we actually have a, a huge turnout for doubles this week. I believe 20-something 20, 20 teams, 25 teams area of doubles. So this is a really great competition. This venue is packed, by the way. Uh, everybody come in to shove their support for AZ Smash and also kind of send off uh, Smash 4 in the best way possible with great community and an awesome tournament. 
So uh, going into game two, uh, looks like counter pick was FD. Uh, and switching to Cloud instead of the Sonic. Uh, if you're going to switch to FD, it makes sense to kind of get off the Sonic for doubles. And Cloud, of course, notorious for being great in doubles. Uh, however, the combination of Kirby should be interesting. I don't know a lot of the setups that they can do together. Uh, Kirby doesn't really want to absorb Cloud's neutral B. I assume that if Kirby's going to absorb anybody, it's definitely got to be Lucario's. Uh, as we saw last game, makes the most sense. However, some edge guarding here just misses, drops too low. Uh, great recovery from Ness to cover high. However, that limit cross ledge way off ledge will take Lucario out early. Give him a little bit of extra aura charge in this doubles game. But other than that, that is not the, the advantage you'd want at the moment. Going for via grab into up air from Lucario there. Not going to confirm. As you can see, Lucario's got some nice aura. And Ness just slapping Cloud off the top there. Kirby definitely kill percent to back throw uh, the other way, not uh, across the entire stage. Uh, and Cloud, I don't know if that was a gimp. I just saw the uh, up B not reach high enough. Might have been a down tilt gimp from Ness there. Nonetheless, blue team kind of getting pushed out of this game really fast. And given that they already lost game one, this would be uh, their last game in winners. And they'd be moving to uh, losers. This is a double elimination game. Got a nice call out with that uh, forward smash, but it might be a little too little too late. They're down an entire stock, and uh, the percent on Cloud is not looking pretty. However, Ness might actually die here. Nope, and he does. And now we have almost an even game. Uh, Lucario's got that rage to work with, and he's just building more at the moment. However, Cloud has a limit, and that's not going to do anything against the 0% Ness. Uh, not exactly what we want. We got shared stock, of course, uh, and we now have a 3-stock versus 2-stock game, and that 3-stock, sadly, is on a full rage of Lucario. Never something you want to be dealing with, especially not in doubles. Uh, it's just building at this moment. However, Lucario being up the most stocks actually decreases his aura a little bit there. Uh, but the percent is definitely scary. The Kirby's in kill percent to a lot right now. And Cloud is nearing death as he gets edge guarded after edge guard over on this ledge here on the right side. Great up B from Cardo to get a little bit of damage, but just doesn't cancel it on the ledge and flies off. Uh, and now we have a even stocks game. Ness, very near death. More near death than any other character on the board. Uh, however, both Kirby and Cloud looking a little bit scary. And Lucario gets a call out a forward smash and Cloud finishes off Ness and we have a uh, one stock versus one stock game with a huge advantage to Lucario here. In a 1v1 we really get to see these characters uh, fight it out and see how these teams will be doing uh, later in the tournament. Uh, the ability to fight 1v1 on your team if it gets down to it and carry that lead over is really important. So let's see if uh, Fireball Whiskey can capitalize on that. Uh, in the meantime, Oumabi, I believe, or uh, Toast and Butter gets <laughs> rocked and that is game two uh sending toast and butter and low mobby to losers bracket and that concludes our first game on stream yeah we got a crazy amount of people here when i was doing kind of a rough head count uh, it was like we were pushing over 50 uh just in the room in general i know not everybody's in this doubles competition but for there to be